So this video is going to be a little bit different compared to normal Stick War 2 mod videos. I usually make them on mods that I've 100% completed, but in this case, this is actually still in development and it's not even really anything in particular. It was me really just experimenting with stuff while I figure out what I'm going to make the next mod on. And I normally don't make videos on mods in progress, but I figured I would do it this time because I am pretty excited to show you this. Now, I just like literally just created it with the help of someone else. So uh, it's definitely by no means perfect, but we're going to get into it. So in this, I have created with the help of my good friend Sam on Discord, have created an ability basically time abilities in stick war 2 where basically any unit affected by it will move at a really slow speed slower than a unit hit with glacial powers and i'm going to show you that here so again like i literally just made this it is by no means perfect but uh nonetheless wow what a freaking frame drop right there so uh you're noticing that there's two, there's two Spiroses here or whatever. And the reason why that is, is one of them applies AOE glacial power and the other one provides AOE time slowing power. And the way Sam helped me set it up was units that are affected with glacial and with uh, time slow will move at probably the slowest speed possible in stick war 2 history like i'm gonna demonstrate this i also gave these time abilities to the savage magi kill which is literally a fate worse than death all right here we go watch this so uh hold on let me pull these back i'm not i'm not trying to get slowed down by the time ability because it is stupid broken so here it is these two are affected by the time slow and these two swords are affected by the time slow and the glacial power. And look how, wait, are they attacking? Oh God, they're attacking. Okay, hold up, hold up. Uh, I had this crystal archer here. The skins were made by like gold. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, hold up, hold up. I'm telling you, I do not want to get, a, I don't want to get hit by this time slow and the glacial at the same time. I'm telling you, if we get affected by this, there is no recovery. It is so overpowered. All right, so uh, we got the time slow going. These two Spiros is stun immune though, so we're not gonna stun them. They're gonna keep running forward. Uh, my best bet is to try and kill these units as fast as possible. But uh, all right, so we're actually safe right here. Uh, somehow we're safe. Oh God, wait, now we're not. The enemy Savage Magi kill has detected mine and he put a we're slowed down we're in a time slow right now but it's not that bad if we're able to get away that is there we go uh i really can't think of a good time to come out and on top of that it looks like my spells are doing nothing to the enemy spiros units we are just not uh doing a good job here of taking them out and yeah, like I said, this time slow is so painful. And this isn't even the worst of it. Oh yeah, but also, by the way, uh, I guess I should mention this. An incredible feat in Stick War 2 history has been made by the same person who helped me with this time ability. So, uh, Sam uh, made it possible for Chaos. Oh wait, hold up. We're actually getting, we're getting clapped by this V-Clone. Holy crap. I gotta bring my units out to stop this guy. But anyway, uh, what Sam did was he made it possible for Chaos and Elemental units to be used in order, which has been impossible for the longest time because of the order's class just straight up refusing to take edits without you causing a catastrophic game crash. But he was able to crack the code and he made it possible to do this, which is incredible. And uh, I, I really can't tell what the hell's going on here. There's so much happening. We're still being affected by the AOE uh, time slow. 
And I don't know, I might, I might be perpetually stuck here. We can go for triple castle archer, but I really don't know how we're gonna, I don't know how we're gonna break through this. Uh, one thing we do need to do though, is slow those Merricks down. And they have Albatross in the back. They are receiving free Albatross on a timer. So uh, there's that. So here we go, we're gonna put the time slow on the Merricks, so they're not gonna be healing and curing as fast. And really, I'm just trying to punch through this front line, but that is proving to be way easier said than done. I just don't, it does not seem like we are punching through these frontline spears. Like, it's ridiculous. And the crazy thing is, this time slow, it slows units down so much, it keeps making me think that the game is lagging. But in reality, it isn't. I'm getting a solid 20 frames per second, which is really good. It looks like it looks like we're severely lagging, but we're not. That's just the time slow and how strong it is. And again, it's even worse when glacial. Oh, hold on, hold on. They have they have another V. Uh, I need to poison spray, especially the enemy match I kill. I need to slow his ass down. But I wonder if it affects my cooldowns. Or I might have just put a bigger cooldown on the Savage Magi kill. But my god. You, you, casting spells with this guy is so painful. I don't know why the time slow hasn't... I actually know why it hasn't faded. Because uh, one of these Spiros units is still alive. And we keep running into the... Uh, we keep being affected by the... How did that archer die? And somehow this Spiros is able to get... Oh wow, look at all that crap. Oh, and one of the enemy bees took my Spiros. Oh my god. I don't know if it's the Glacial one or the Time one, but either way, it's bad. It's really bad. Alright, we need to... Oh no! He took the Glacial Spiros. So look at my match. Look at the Savage Magi kill. This guy is defenseless. This is what... This is what... Uh, this is what Sam's coding capabilities can do. Like again, he made it to where units that are uh, affected with glacial and time slow, they move at such a slow speed, it's damn near impossible to get away. It's pretty miraculous that this Magi kill is not being targeted, but look at this, look at how much we have to kill. We're going to put a time slow on all those elbows and that giant, but uh, yeah. Also, the, the icon, which is literally just an arrow rotating in a circle, was something that I made uh, in, in literally just a standard Photoshop application. It's nothing spectacular, but it's the best I could think of. I'm no artist. And uh, my Savage Magi kill is about to die. There is no getting him out. Can he even cast this E-Wall before he dies? Yes, he can. But it just doesn't matter. Uh, the, the stupid V took my Spiros, the, the Glacial one, and I think the Time one died. I don't see him anywhere. And uh, yeah, this Savage Magi kill goes down. You might as well say that's it. I'm wondering if I, nah, maybe he'll get away. Cause I did make the Savage Magi kill to be fast. Never mind, he's dead and that's pretty much game. Yeah, they have another V and everything. All right, so, um, Maybe the element of surprise is the best solution here, meaning attack them before they can do any severe damage to me. If we can just isolate their time slowing units and kill them, that would be ideal, but that is way easier said than done. I do have this crystal archer who freezes with every attack, but it's gonna take way more than that if we want to dispatch of, oh god, they're yeah, they're, see they're attacking right now. Hold on, let me slow them down. Let me let me slow them down. God dang it, we hit nothing there. All right, all right, come on, come on. Uh, poison sprays recharged. Let's go for it again. All right, that's perfect. That's perfect. Now, how to capitalize, uh, that's where I'm confused at. Because we're just, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. We've, we've isolated one of the Spiros units. 
Don't freeze him. Don't freeze him. We we want to lure him out here and kill him as quickly as possible. Because they, they don't they don't respawn when they die. So the opportunity is now to make this happen. Oh god, it's the time slowing Spiros. And now here comes their Magi kill. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Because their Magi kill isn't being time slowed. Alright, now he is. But he was able to cast electric walls and everything. And yeah, I actually think that this this time slow is I think is affecting my spell cooldown. Because now all of a sudden, it's taking way longer for me to get my poison spray back. So the fact that this actually affects spell ability cooldowns too is ridiculous. Yeah, I really have no idea what's happening. Everything is being glacial slowed. Everything is being time slowed. All I can do is hope for the best here. Even my damn art just got time slowed. And they're being stunned on top of that. So I can't even I can't even get them to move. Like God, this is such and now here comes a freaking V. It's the last thing I already knew I know is a damn V to be bothering me. Alright, well we'll blast everything. <laughs> oh God. This is so unbelievably painful. Like, I swear to God, it's taking, I want to say almost like three times longer than normal for my spells to recharge because of the fact we're being frozen essentially and slowed down in time. It's ridiculous. Uh, yeah, the, yikes. I, I don't know how we're going to, I don't know how I'm going to do this. This is actually impossible. Even despite both sides having the same, pretty much the same abilities, I just can't find a way to punch through them here. All right, let's tr let's try again to lure lure one of their units out here. Uh, all right, he didn't get that ice spear. You know what? This is gonna hurt us. As long as the Savage Magi kill does not get in the range of that, we should be fine here. I'm going to try to engage this and kill all of it while I have the chance. And I got to make sure the Savage Magi kill does not get close. This is pretty much our only hope. And if their Magi kill attacks, I obviously want to time slow him. So at the very least, he can't cast his spells as quickly. I will right, we'll go for the E wall. So yeah, these arches are actually a good save point. So I can get the match IQ to be close to this without actually being in range of the time slow in the glacial. Only problem is I really can't tell the status on the enemy Spiros units. We are we are freezing one of them, but are we doing severe damage to him is the question. And it's only up. Oh, never mind. Yep. See, right as I say, it was going to be a matter of time before the enemy pushes. Uh, surprise, surprise! Here they come. All right. Uh, I'm actually not going to worry about that savage magi kill because now this idiot's going to wait, 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 wait! Don't get hit by that. Okay, here we go. My magi kill's good. My savage magi kill is good. Meanwhile, theirs is. Uh... Hold on. Don't. Please don't get close. I'm really banking on my Savage Magi kill not getting slowed down by Glacial or Time Freeze. That should give us the edge that we need. In fact, I should be building more than just one Magi kill. That would be tremendous right now. So yeah, we just want to keep this guy right here and just unload spells like nobody's business. And that really... Oh god, here comes a freaking V. We want to deal with that V as quickly as possible. So yeah, kill him quick. Uh, why is he not being glacial slow though? I don't know why, but I don't like that. I really don't like this. All right, we're gonna e wall him. But wait, no, don't do. God dang it! All right, so he got he got glacial slowed. He didn't get time slowed. And yep, he takes one of my he takes one of my. Spiros Generals, and what actually sucks is the time slow is going to uh, is going to allow that protection effect 
to stay on the V for way longer than it should. Meaning, him being slowed down through time is actually helping him. God dang it, this sucks. And my regular Magi kill got, went in like a dumbass. So this means the Savage Magi kill from the enemy is not dead, he's still alive. Somehow he is still alive, he has not died yet. I am unleashing spells like nobody's business, and I have not been able to uh, punch through- Oh no, yeah, we're screwed. All of my frontline units are dead. We're glacial and time slowed. I mean, wh what do you even do here? And we're gonna get frozen on top of that. Yep. Yeah, we get frozen as well. Like, this sucks. I can't punch through this even with both sides having equal powers against each other. Oh yeah, I'm gonna draw the line there. So yeah, uh, like I said, super short video. I just wanted to showcase this time ability and um, as you can tell, I'm going to have one hell of a time fighting against this power. So uh, again, special thanks to uh, Sam for helping me out with the time ability, and I will see you in the next video.